So I would love to hear about how you found the Abacus Brain Study first. Well, um, I have a child that has learning difficulties in the school system. She was in first grade in the public school system, and she got, she got good grades, but when I had her tested to put her in a private school, she got 1% on her math. So I was pretty concerned about that. Then I decided that the very first thing is uh, I need, she needs some help. So we looked around and uh, I basically went on uh, conversations on those chat boxes and there I saw the word abacus and I had no idea what it is. And his people were talking about abacus and how good it is working for the kids. So then what I did is I started just uh, Googling it and then I got to abacusbrainstudy.com and I wanted to do it but I never got it took the time to come to the probably for I want to say four four months I didn't take the time to come to the parent orientation so hopefully this will help parents to get the orientation brought to them so that they don't have to come here because I didn't always have the time commitment because I'm pretty busy but anyway so um, eventually I did come and when I when I did come I was very fired up. Um, and I was, you know, I was very enthusiastic to start. I, I knew I wanted to start. I didn't want to wait for a class to start. So I called Julie every, I think every four days I called her and I emailed her honestly and said, you know, when is the class starting? And eventually she put uh, together a mixed class with the kids ra actually ranged from age, um, pre-K and I think the oldest one was like second grade and so she said that was the first time she was doing this mixed age but you know I kept on asking I just had my daughter had to start so that I could you know because she's getting older you know every minute that ticks away is a minute that you lose in your child's life it's an opportunity it's a development gap that's gone forever and uh, anyway so we started the program um, I, when I started it, I bought myself an abacus. The first day, I bought an abacus, and uh, I didn't know anything about this <laughs> abacus program. I didn't know really much about it, and I decided I was going to learn with my kids, and I and I did, um, and it worked really well for Michaela uh, and for Lauren, both of them. Lauren is a first grader, and Michaela is a second grader. And so they are doing really good with the Abacus program. I supplement them with other programs too. I want to say that, um, especially Michaela, that's uh, had uh, some some difficulties with her math because she was so far behind. And we had her tested, and she was showed that she was ADHD and ADD um, combined type. And uh, you know that's that's the only reason. So she has the ability to learn. Um, there's nothing wrong with her, it's just like she doesn't focus all the time. So the Abacus program has helped both of them tremendously. Um, Michaela to listen, because one thing about children is comprehension, uh, helps her to listen. Uh, she has to listen to the numbers and she has to pay attention. She has, that's I think the first thing where it helps them in school to pay attention, number one. and you know, to comprehend what they hear and then do it. I think especially I've seen with the one that's ADHD that because she is, uh, you know, work of her right brain, I see that she learns the imaging much faster than the other child. So you might think that a kid that's ADHD or ADD is going to be a slow learner in abacus, but really not so. It's as if because they uh, use pictures in the, to think with, and that this is an easy program for them and it helps them actually trans transition the math from um, you know from counting on the fingers she was in second grade and she couldn't do subtraction she had no way she couldn't understand it I show her the stuff take it away but you can't sit her in class and take the stuff away every time you have to find a way that she can do it on paper she could not make the transition to mental math it was very difficult and uh, now she can do it. She can do it fast. Not only that, I mean, she can do much more than really that is expected from her. Lauren is the younger one. Um, 
and she's just keeping up all the time. She's in the same rate. Some she's not as good as in imaging as Michaela. Um, sometimes they pass one another by in the grades. My kids are busy kids. Um, they're busy with lots of things. So uh, you might say, well, I don't have the time. If you don't have the time, you'll just have to make the time. I think many times I've seen that um, we expect too little from our kids. And that's one thing that I learned from the Abacus program, that we need to expect a whole lot more from them. We say, oh no, they're just kids. But maybe yours will still be kids running around outside and uh, having lots of fun while the other sort just passes them by, you know? You can, you can, you have to be balanced and, you know, do all of that. Um, so I think while my kids' schedule is so busy because my kids do horseback riding, my kids do karate, they, uh, I just dropped them from violin, but they do music, they do rock climbing, and they do cooking every week, and they do exploration, which means they do a hike and bike uh, uh, event every week. And then they also do simple math. So my, my kids, and these are all classes that they have throughout the week after school, and they are in school until three. So they really in the afternoons, uh, and they also have gymnastics. They had gymnastics right through this last semester. So every single day they have two events, like after school events. And uh, so I don't really have a lot of time in the afternoons for them to sit and do abacus. So, Yes, they are out and playing. So what I do is I wake them up at 6 o'clock, get them dressed, and they eat from 6 to 6.30. And then after that, they do abacus. Um, their school starts at 8.30. So typically at 8, I leave the house. So I have a good, uh, good like, uh, hour and a half that they can work, that they just do abacus in the morning. And they actually finish all their abacus in the morning. They uh, they even have time to write out one page of um, cursive handwriting because they have to do a lot of supplement stuff that I want them to do. So they complete their abacus in the morning. Um, I found like if they do it in the evening, that it's really just too difficult because the marks are lower. Um, you know, it's, it's just a lot easier for them because they're not tired, they are fresh, and they are all ready to do it. Well, um, so soon after I started the class, uh, I attended the class. That's great about Abacus. You can attend the class with your kids and you can learn with them. So I start, decided that I would like to become a teacher, an Abacus teacher. Because I've seen other people around that's teachers, and I thought, well, wow, where do they learn how to become a teacher? So I looked it up on the internet, uh, or whatever I could find, and, and then I thought, okay, I'll just call Miss Julie, because I couldn't find a place where to teach you how to do the abacus, like how to become a teacher. So anyway, so I decided, okay, I'll sign up as a teacher, and so I had my first uh, training session. And of course, you learn also with your kids, which is which is very true. If you practice, if you take the time to practice with them, as a teacher, um, it's been a really good experience for me. I have uh, taught uh, grade ten and grade nine. Typically, the classes start off with um, very uh, young, excited young people and parents until they realize that now they are going to have to change their old habits. They're going to have to change their habits of watching TV, and what they have to replace these habits with um, is order. You're going to first learn order, discipline, because Abacus is about order and discipline. And I think, when I look at the Abacus classes, I think it's just like colleges. The first year, it starts up, up with a great class, and then slowly, only those that are really committed to the program will actually stay and uh, go through with it because kids can work hard. I have seen kids that actually are as old as like pre-K that do multiplication. So it's amazing. Um, there's not a lot of grace. <laughs> they, they, have to, they have to learn their multiplication. And I think many times we think that it's impossible for them to do that. I thought it was impossible too, I must say, typically from the way that we were taught. But I've seen the kids in my class and the parents also expect them, expect you to 
make sure that they learn these things. And so, the kid, I have a class on Sundays, and the kids are pretty young, and they know their multiplications, and they have to, have to write it down with less than three minutes. They have to write those pages out down. It goes fast. So I think it's a great program. It teaches the kids um, order because you have to recall all the stuff in order. I, I don't know how to say how important it is. Order is probably the thing that I've learned. And then of course the discipline of doing your homework. And then honesty too, because sometimes it, it's easy for you just to, you know, look on somebody else's work and stuff. So it, it teaches them self-respect. Uh, there's many little things that they teach in the class uh, that I think is great for them. I uh, enjoy teaching the abacus. It's new for me. Um, everything is new for me too as, as a person because I didn't grow up with the abacus. I think maybe it's a, it's a mindset that we have to come out of, that our kids can do it. We should expect more from them because we are actually doing them a, a disfavor not to expect more from them. We don't expect more from them because of our culture. And that, I think, is the reason why people from different cultures come in, become the teachers, why they send their kids, because they know from their cultural experience that there are greater potential in the kids than what we believe or what we were made believe by our parents, our educational system. And so we can reach for higher and we just have to look for what is it that will work for us. Maybe abacus will work for you, maybe not. But uh, for us it definitely works.